What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Jack specific Toadette figure from Wave 36 from the Super Mario line. So this is her first ever figure in the main line. She had the 2.5 inch figure that came out last year, but now she's finally getting a 4 inch figure, which <laughs> sounds crazy because we're almost close to hitting Wave 40 and we're just now getting this. And you know what, it may not be Daisy, but... I'll take it. Uh, Toadette is also cool, so I'm fine with that. But let's go over the packaging real quick. So the packaging is, of course, the standard uh, Super Mario packaging, really. But uh, she is coming with a coin, which we you know we've seen a million times. But she's coming with the coin this time. Uh, the side is the Super Mario logo, and then the other side just has her name, and then her name, of course, right there. And then the bottom is you know just the barcode right there. And then here is the back. So we get an image of the figure. We do have a bar read over here, the logo, and then these are the other figures that's going to be in this wave. And wow, we got two figures that's coming with the coin uh, in this set. But yeah, that is pretty much the packaging for Toadette. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, so here's the figure out of the packaging right here. Looking really good here. I think this is a solid Toadette figure. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of like change here because I thought she was going to be pretty similar to Toad, which she kind of is in a way, except like uh, when it comes to articulation, there's some difference here. But the figure isn't too bad here. I think if you really love Toadette, uh, you're going to love this figure or even if you love the two and a half inch figure as well. But yeah, this Toadette figure, it's pretty good, as you can see. I mean, she's uh, pretty similar to her, you know, to the minifigure right here um, that I'll show off. But, you know, she has like the same expression, um, you know, the way how the arms are, things like that. The pink, though, on this one is a little bit lighter than how this one is, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much pretty similar to this, really. It's just, you know, bigger and then... Uh, you know more articulation this time but it is a pretty nice toadette figure though I will say that the sculpt for the pigtails looks fine it's a hard plastic though um, and there's no uh, movement with them either if you're curious but yeah that's pretty much that now the skin tone is probably the thing I don't like she's coming off a little too pale uh, I'll even bring in the toad here as you can see you can see the huge difference like she looks kind of sick actually <laughs> like uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling uh, the skin tone here. I mean, she looks great next to the Toad figure, uh, but the skin tone is kind of off here on this figure. And I think I've even seen it when I brought in the minifigure right here, as you can see. So yeah, that's uh, kind of weird. Now, for her accessory, it is just the standard coin. Um, which, you know, we, we've seen earlier, but I wanted to show it off again just in case I forget, really. But the articulation. So the head is just on a single ball peg. Uh, not really a whole lot of movement, really. Like, you know, looking up, that's all you're really getting. She can't really, like, look down, really. And any pivoting, uh, not so much, really. You're probably just going to get a standard uh, rotation. But the pigtails is going to come in contact with the arms here. Uh, speaking of the arms, you do have your four rotation there. Hinge to the shoulder goes pretty high up, you know. That's as much as you get for the shoulders. But the um, the wrists right here, they're on a vertical hinge, which is interesting. I don't know why they did that. I mean, it's not like she comes with a weapon, but they're on a vertical hinge. I mean, it's nice if you want to have her to wave, but even without that, you still could just have her wave if you just put the arm up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, I don't know why they didn't just did the same thing that they did with Toad, where like, you know, he had a little bit of the elbow joints, but you could still like swivel that. So yeah, I, I, I don't know, but she has a vertical hinge, uh, which is weird. And her arms doesn't go as low to her waist or as close to her waist compared to Toad either. So that's that. But the hips, they're, you know, they're just really a hinge. So, you know, you can move them back and forth and you can rotate the feet. And yeah, that is pretty much the uh, articulation for Toadette. Again, nothing going on with the pigtails or anything like that. Um, but that's pretty much for Toadette. You know, it's, it's exactly what I wasn't going to expect, really. I didn't think there was going to be uh, much of a difference with her between Toad. But she's fine. I mean, you know, she stands on her own. And um, she has better hips with, well, I mean, she can kick back because Toad couldn't do that because of the hard plastic behind him. But he was able to kick forward a little bit better 
as you can see. But that's only because her, you know, her shirt, you know, is kind of in the way. Um, so that, you know, that's going to hinder that. But, you know, he can kick forward a little bit better, but he couldn't kick uh, back, though, unfortunately. But she can now. So that's, you know, cool right there. Okay, so here's a quick comparison right here, but here's Toadette next to Princess Peach and Wendy, and she is going to be shorter than both of them. It may look like she's taller than Wendy, but that's just because the, you know, the mushroom is just like really big, really. But uh, yeah, that is your little comparison right there. And then here's another comparison right here, but here is Toadette next to a bunch of other characters. And, you know, she's the same height as Toad, so that should give you an idea of like where she scales with the other figures. But as you can see, she looks pretty good here all right so that is going to wrap up this review on the jack specific toadette figure from wave 36 overall it's a pretty great toadette figure she's going to be pretty similar to the new toad figure that was in the last wave except her articulation is a bit different in some areas but she's okay i recommend picking her up i can probably see her getting a re-release in like a two-pack with toad in the future so i wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing that but let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you want to pick this up, she is available on Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I got mine. I don't know if Entertainment Earth put this figure up on their website yet. You'll probably have to go check on that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. But until then, take care my friends.